Chair Shot Reality on Wrestling Inc. Coming to you from Point Park University Studios in downtown Pittsburgh. Coming towards the end here, Joe Springsteen. What? This is not the end. I'm wearing my end. shirts. My shirts are great. We're going to keep going. Brian Goulish, welcome back. Josh, he hate me, Eisenberg. <laughs> uh, gentlemen, uh, thanks to Goulish for bringing the prop. He would be the Let's only keep guy. Away from the only guy that has <laughs> less the from shoulder, it. Justin. He just had surgery. Yeah, come on. He could be doing that. All right. The eight cities announced for XFL. That, Washington, D.C., New York, St. Louis, Dallas, L.A., Seattle, Tampa, and Houston. Those are your inaugural eight cities. Uh, that's what they did last time. They tried eight teams off the bat. Obviously, XFL did not last but for one season. I do have a feeling, gentlemen, though, because they're being conscious of social media that they have, because they're being conscious of um, possible in-game betting, I think this will probably last more than one year because I think they have more ducks in a row. It will, and the fact that it came out that Vince McMahon is committed to this being backed financially for more than just one season, no matter what happens. There are a few things, though, with this. Vince McMahon, you, my friend, have some golden coconuts. For anybody okay. who has the courage. Now, we have the American Alliance of Football. Cahoons we have or coconuts? Whatever. <laughs> the American Alliance of Football. We have the NFL. We have the CFL. We have the XFL. And today, as of this taping, the Freedom Football Federation or whatever has just been announced. We have all these pro football leagues, and you're the crazy some bitch who challenges the NFL in their own cities. And I think that's a positive because you're going to be in those cities where there's already an established football fan base. Thing being is, can't go after those cities where there's not a history of winning. Mm, interesting. They are, they, because in the cities like New York, which I think... Well, New they're York, going to D.C., so... Well, I think you'll New, be their fan. You'll be their number I'll one be fan. I'll be the only fan. But, <laughs> I, but the, just real quick, I think that they are going in some of these cities, and I particularly point out New York at MetLife and then Raymond J. Stadium in Tampa... Don't think there's not some agreement there with, hey, you let us use your stadium, give us a cut on cost, we'll bring more WrestleManias back. Not a bad idea, yeah. I, and I, I think there's some. This week, huh? I think there's Woo. some backhanded, yeah. There's some backhanded ideas that WWE is going to put in with the XFL. I think that we're never going to hear about, but sure. you're going to see patterns of. It's a smart move. I'm, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm interested in seeing out of all the cities. I think what six or seven of the eight have NFL teams. Yep. Is that what it is? Yeah. Well, St. Louis is the only one, one that doesn't. Louis, yeah, it doesn't. Yeah. Have well, they just lost one, so what better time yeah, to give yeah, them Alex a team Houston, now? Seattle, LA, yeah. New York. So I don't understand. I mean, we've seen the StubHub Center what 30, 40, 50 percent full of. Actual LA fans with the Chargers, mm -hmm. right? The Coliseum where the Rams play, the best, one of the best teams in football, seventy-five percent full. Yeah, it's taking a so while. I to don't. Get there. Yeah, and I know it's still kind of transitioning into waiting until that new stadium comes about, but I don't understand that. I don't understand two two uh, teams in Texas and not one of them being like a San Antonio where they get an opportunity to. They love their basketball. They love pro sports there. Or even at, here's my biggest thing. There's so many SEC schools in the world that do not have an NFL team, teams like Alabama, Auburn, those small southern schools that Tick, could benefit Tick from and Drew a pro and I team. About the that would be Alabama, beautiful. Alabama, I thought, was something you could really tap into if they would have yeah, done Yeah, that area I know right Tuscaloosa there in is not general. a booming metropolitan city like... But, I, but somewhere Florida. near there, or even in Oklahoma yeah. City, where I you think can get Oklahoma and Oklahoma City fans to come in for that game. But I again, still, you I have to look at the other leagues and what they've already yeah, got out there. They've true. attacked those cities before Vince could yeah. announce. Yeah, yeah. And, and again, that's what you said. You said, what, five leagues now it'll be? Mm. And everybody... Well, count the, take out the CFL, but yes. Wow, well, well, yeah. Well, but, so you know, but you know what, though? With all the... You, you, you started off with this. With all the money that Alpha Entertainment... The, all the money that Vince is planning to put into this for the long term, if the, if the, quali if the first impression is good enough, if the quality of play is decent enough, it doesn't have to be spectacular, but if it's decent enough and there's enough fan engagement for the first year and it can stick around, then... I would probably say that because they'll be able to be the, the because XFL could probably pay players, they're not gonna be able to play as pay as necessarily as well as the NFL, but they'll be able to pay pretty decent. They might be able to, uh, they might be able to put CFL out of business and arena football out of business because they'll be able to and pay was, better than the I was going to so say that. Well the, the the point for the XFL now, I think it's so great now that it's not just the NFL that they're competing with. They have all these other things. If they could put maybe one of these random upstart leagues out of business, wouldn't you think that Vince thinks that's a success? Well, you, and well, that's something to move forward with. So this this freedom football plus that was with the players that they get this freedom football that was announced on Thursday. Who's funding that? You've got like 50 ex NFL players, Terrell Owens, I believe, okay. and you got some of these guys to where. I think this is to where they're going to be more lenient on the, the medical cannabis use and things like that that a lot of the yeah. players in this day and age wish the NFL had. Mm -hmm. Now, if you look at the American Alliance of Football, you've got people like Troy Polamalu, Heinz Ward, just because we're from Pittsburgh, I know their names and their, those guys are involved. They already have a deal with CBS Sportsnet. So mm -hmm. 
Where does Vince, does he look at Fox as an opportunity for this? Does he look at USA, the NBC Universal, as an opportunity for this? He's not going to put it on the network, that's for well, sure. Well, I, I fear that Maybe. he's going to, He. they said this in the, I think Oliver Luck said this, that they're working on an app. I fear that they're going to just relegate to the app if they can't get a big broadcast network because they've had such success with the WWE network. I think but they need I some think, sort of I cable think, network. I think they'll get broadcast distribution. Last question. I, I like that you were talking I about I don't Fox. know, but I think they will. I mean, Vince has enough credibility. The fact that SmackDown got a big deal with Fox, yeah. I think, they is have a enough, little bit. They have enough credibility. Okay. They, have, it helps. You know, they have credible people in the front office. Well, not, ESPN like, likes Vince yeah. and the WWE. I don't see why. Last they question. Can't so, find so, what happens? So, the NFL drafts this spring. Does the XFL wait to see, okay, who didn't get drafted, who gets cut at training camp, and do they start? So you've got this, this American uh, Alliance of American Football that kicks off the week after the Super Bowl this year, so 2019, that league goes into effect. So you're looking at a talent pool that's going to be drowned down, and I think that's one of the big things. What are the rules of this league? What are going to be involved in this league? What's the roster size of this league going to be? There, there are so many variables that are in the play that we don't know about yet, and that's you don't really know what Vince has in mind for this league other than there's eight cities, there's eight stadiums, here's our launch date. And I think that's why it's a good strategy because these other leagues are starting earlier, and that's why whenever he announced it was going to be 2020, I thought that's a good idea. They were kind of rushed into it before, and it, it obviously failed. Now, well, you have the you know one piece of merch that they gave out. <laughs> well, no, but that's that's what I'm going to get at. Like, like the, the logo said, you get the F out. They need to exactly. get this ball the F out. Get a regular football. I, I don't want to see a black football. Get out of here. I think that the, the fact that those other leagues are going to come up, and even though that it would be a drowned uh, uh, talent pool, I think if anything happens on those uh, other organizations, the football leagues, that fail, they're going to turn, hey, XFL, and they'll figure out what doesn't work, and maybe they'll implement Vince it going was already forward. the 10th, it's a good plan, 10th I turner think. of professional football once. Let's not make it twice. It's the XFL. <sighs> One more video to go. Josh and I finishing out big debate, chair shot rally, the final season what finale, series about? finale. Serious season. Done. Serious. Season. Uh, season. We'll be back. I'll be back. We're done. I'll be here. We're done. One more to go. Don't go anywhere. What?